Hey guys, I just want to make a quick uh, video on my uh, swing out hitch and my generator box. I'll start with the uh, generator box. <clears throat> it's a uh, it's a top lid because that way you can uh, just set the generator down in. You can fuel up easy. You know, just open the lid, fuel up. I tried the uh, side uh, lids and it. It's a pain in the rear to uh, to fuel up, so I went to this. Really hard to find though. This one's considered a chain box, and it's a little bit thicker because of that, which makes it a little safer because uh, you know it'd be harder for someone to cut through it and steal the generator. But uh, what I did was it's all diamond plate, and I uh, cut all that out with just a jigsaw. And it's uh, big enough to allow the uh, fan to blow out all the heat, and uh, and for the exhaust pipe to get you know rid of the the exhaust. But it's too small for anyone to be able to get the uh, generator through. So I feel pretty safe about it. And uh, that's pretty much it for the uh, box. Pretty basic. Um, the uh, hole isn't quite as big as the box is so you gotta take that into account when you're buying your uh, generator but uh, this generator I just got and this I'm definitely doing a video on this thing I know people like to throw around the word game changer but this really is a game changer awesome so I think I'll probably make that in my next video about this generator but uh, we'll just close this back up <clears throat> and I'll show you the uh, the swing out hitch the swing out hitch is just a regular hitch and you put your box on it, but it has an arm over here. It has an arm and an elbow so it can swivel right there on that bolt. So we'll unlatch it. You have to unscrew that because it keeps it nice and uh, solid. So. When your generator is running, it doesn't make a bunch of rattling. And here's your safety. It's just a uh, latch that you pull up on. And then when you shut it, it's spring-loaded, so it just snaps right back in. But you open it like that. <clears throat> Let me try and get back here so you can see. And then you just swing it out. And it just rotates on that. I have my 30-amp... Uh, um, wire going uh, right along with it so um, when I swing it out you know it's all there and when I shut it it's still there and tight I'm just using using a zip ties to zip tie it on there but uh trying to back up here but that's how you swing it out you can swing it all the way out to where it almost hits the van and then you can open your door and uh, you can open your door all the way on a sprinter anyway. I don't know about others, but... And it comes real close, but that's it's made for it, I guess. Then you can open your other door. And you got full access. All you have is this here, which actually kind of helps me with the bike. Get the tire up on here, then I get it up on there. Don't have to lift the bike as far to get it started. So I kind of like that. But uh, yeah, wide open. And then uh, you can also, let me shut this door. I'll swing it back around and not quite latch it though because I got to open the other door again. Get it right about to there where it's at an angle. Then your door will clear it. See, open your door. Now you can put it back here again and latch it. And now your doors are wide open and your um, generator box is right back up there again. You can actually run your generator with your doors open. Like in my case, I'll just, what I'll do is, is I'll, I'll shut that door, but leave this door open. And I can run the generator because then the exhaust goes right out, you know, and this kind of keeps the exhaust from coming in to the van. Um, that's it about that. Let me just show you uh, 
the, the name of it so you know what I'm talking about. It's a uh, Stowaway 2. Um, and you can go to stowaway2.com or you can just go to uh, Amazon, I think, has it. If not Amazon, eBay probably does. But if not, you can go to their website and get it. But uh, it can handle a lot of weight, uh, 250 pounds. But the thing about that is it can handle about 800 pounds. But that 250 pounds comes into play when you have this elbow all the way out like that. All the pressure's right here. So I suppose 250 pounds is about right. But if you're never going to do that, you're going to have it up against your van close and uh, you know not have the weight out on it when you have it out like that, you can put a lot more weight. But uh, it has two um, holes to uh, adjust it. Um, I have it on the hole where I get it closest to, into the van. So there's another hole where you can bring it out about another two inches out that way. And you can let, and you can put the uh, latch in um, if you want to get a little bit further away from your van. Uh, maybe some vans have longer doors, and for that reason, you have to be able to, you know, get it out further away. But uh, that's about it for that. Uh, what I did was, is I uh, put my license plate on it. I put my license plate on it, so. Um, I wouldn't get in trouble with the cops, you know, pulling me over because it did kind of cover my license plate that was on my door. Yours might not have that problem, though. Um, that's about it, though, for that. Uh, I got a lot to, of stuff that I want to talk about. Um, I want to talk about uh, a battery I got. So there's going to be a video on that pretty soon. It's a uh, EG4, and it's a, a waterproof battery for for vans you know for vans for campers for uh, boats it's waterproof it's got built-in Bluetooth with a shunt telling you what's going on uh, there's that um, I doubled my uh, my solar panels so I'm doing 2,000 watts now so I got a trailer and I put them on top of the trailer um, I'm also doing urban uh, boondocking now at my work. So a little bit different, you know. You can't just, uh, if you have your own land, you can put your solar panels wherever you want. But I had to get this uh, trailer and put them on it. And I'm thinking about going to a bigger trailer and I'll end up with 3,000 watts worth of uh, solar. Um, but that's what it's taken to keep this uh, air conditioner running. Um, down here in Florida anyway. Now, if you guys get this AC, uh, this AC, you might not have to do all that if you're further up north. But down here in Cape Coral, Fort Myers, it's brutal. So uh, I'm going to make a video on that too. Um, so there's the, the solar, there's the battery, uh, there's this uh, generator. Um, and probably a couple other things I'm going to talk about. So stay tuned. I'm going to try to post more often. I know I always say that, but uh, I think I really am going to. I just have to find a quiet place to do it. You know what I mean? There's traffic everywhere where I've been, so that's why it's been so hard to post a video. But uh, other than that, things are going good. Uh, Ian hit hard. It was a direct hit on us. And uh, my workplace got uh, pretty messed up. And it's going to be a couple months before they can get us back into the Cape Coral branch. So now I'm over in Fort Myers. So there's been some real life changes in that respect on how I'm living in this van. Uh, good and bad, both. There's pros and cons to it. But uh, more videos coming, and I'm going to try to tell everybody all about this stuff, especially this generator. Man, I love this freaking generator. Get it. <laughs> But yeah, that'll be the next video. All right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.